Okay, everybody. Hi. Welcome. Um, let me kind of turn down that uh, music volume just a little bit. All right. Uh, that's good. Okay. So hi. Uh, so I'm doing something new with Angel Vampires. Uh, I am recording a game. Uh, this is an online game. This is live right now as I'm recording it. And sorry, I was taking a sip of beer. Um, so this is a two v two match. Um, on what appears to be islands, large islands. So here we have yellow. This is uh, Surreal Dragon 325. He is the Minoans. Good choice, by the way. It's good to be the Minoans as a seafaring sieve. Uh, over here, who I believe is his partner. Uh, this is Game Leader 60. He's the Greeks. Uh, another good seafaring sieve, and down here in the blue we have Blizzard 1303. He's the Phoenicians, and to oh, Jesus, everybody's being a good uh, maritime civilization. And his partner, the Legend Extra Large, is Sumerian. Probably not the best choice for um, a seafaring sieve, but whatever. I guess we'll see. So I believe the teams are uh, green. The Legend and Blizzard versus uh, Game Leader 60 and his buddy Surreal Dragon. Should just say Serial Dragon, I don't know why I'm saying it wrong. So, yeah. This is my first recording of a online match, so uh, guys, please bear with me. Yeah, the, cam the camera is um, off, I just forgot to plug it in, you know, I was like, yeah, you know what, fuck it. I just less shit on the screen anyway, so. Okay, so we're gonna get into this. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little slow at the beginning, so what you're basically watching is people building up their economies, so let's see, yellow has about, has five people on berries, three woodcutters, basic build order, uh, building a house, getting things in order, nicely done here, let's see, the legend... Uh, is utilizing fish, so that's not a bad idea, getting that extra food boost, uh, instead of going for the berries. Uh, I think actually hunting fish is a lot faster than getting berries, so that's a good call on him, and he's also doing some hunting. Same thing, faster than berries. Uh, Blue is going for a standard build order, he's got five guys on berries doing the, uh, Three wood cutters and our buddy to the north, uh, gamer leader, is also utilizing fish and gazelle and doing uh, berries. So he's he's got a huge food boost right now. He's only got two wood cutters. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be beneficial to him because really on these water maps you really want to take control of. Um, you want to get you want to get ships on the water as soon as you can, and in order to do that, you have to advance into the next age. So, uh, hopefully, that doesn't hinder him. So, yellow and uh, orange are gonna share this body of water, which is if you guys are looking at the mini map down, that's where I'm shaking the uh, so shaking the uh, the cursor. So they they got this area. Blue and green, on the other hand. Are gonna have to contend with this. Now it's nice that actually Green's Island has this little uh, part here. So in order for boats to go around, they're gonna have to go all the way around his island to get over here. So in you know, in, in it would be what's the fucking word? So it would be beneficial to them to have fishing docks here, and it seems that the fishing ships would be uh, rather unmolested, but uh, it seems a bit far away from blue, and it's most likely he's going to build docks here. Green, on the other hand, might actually build here and uh, miss out on the huge, look at all those whales here, and this is a, this is a, this is a food boom over here. Um, orange, it may be hit or miss, he may build a dock up here. Or, or here, hopefully he builds here, and yellow, unfortunately, has a sh very bad start. I mean, there there are some fish here, but not a whole lot. I mean, he really needs to build docks over here and really utilize that huge fishing area. So, 
let's check out what's going on here. So, Orange is now pretty much gone all to berries. He's got his dock out. He's got a fishing ship going, but he's he's fishing shore fish, and he shouldn't really do that. Uh, yellow. Yellow is building his dock. He's on his way. Green. No dock yet. No dock yet from green. Uh... Not a good sign there, but he's still just gathering lots of food. Let's see what Blue is doing. Mr. Blizzard here. He is just all over the place. You know, he's got fishermen galore, and uh, they got to they gotta travel pretty far to collect their fish. So, I don't know if that's going to be beneficial. I mean, I don't know if he's utilizing his time correctly. He might be behind. I... It, it seems that Yellow and Orange kind of know what to do here. They... They're, they, they they're utilizing the- oh, that sucks. I think- I think, uh, uh, Orange lost two villagers. Oh, and if I was gonna say, he would have lost a third one if that elephant didn't get killed, but yeah. I think he lost one to a crocodile, and then he lost another one to the elephant. But now the elephant's dead. He needs more hunters, though. He can't just- it's gonna be wasted food if, uh, he's only got one villager hunting that elephant. So that might send him back- oh, he's got all these idle vills! Oh, what's going on here? Guys, guys, go up. Yeah, go hunt. Are they are they going to go up the... Are they going to go fucking hunt the elephant? Please, get your shit together. Oh, they're builders. What are they going to build? We'll come back to them in a minute. Let's see. Yellow. Doing good. Let's see, where's his villagers at? Oh, where, where are his villas? Okay, his villas, he's, he's kind of settled over here. He's focusing primarily on getting wood now. He's just going to make fishing ships. Uh... He's building st Orange is building stone. Lots of stone. I'm not sure I agree with that. I don't know. I guess he just wants towers for defense, but let's go check out Green here. Green is building another storage pit. Eh, I probably would have... Well, he's already got one there, so... And he's got two... Uh, no, he's got four storage pits now, so... Uh, all right. Maybe instead build a dock, but hey, to each his own. And uh, Blue is just just gathering fish. He's got food cutters over, wood cutters over here. Sorry, and hunters, but eh, that's about it for him. But yeah, guys, if you're if you're new to watching Age of Empires games, these uh, the build up is rather slow. Oh, and but we got some action here. Orange uh, Gamer Leader is in the Tool Age, so he can now start getting some uh, scout ships out and patrolling the waters. Uh, everybody else seems to be still in the Stone Age, so Gamer Leader has the advantage, and you can see that here on the scoreboard. Right over here, he's top place right now. Uh, let's see, what else is going on here? Uh, Got some idle vills, some green. Get those vills to work, man. You gotta get them to work. Building a barracks, just in case. If somebody lands, not a bad idea to get some military buildings up to defend yourself. Uh, same here with uh, green. Building sorry, building a storage pit right here for three shorefish. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that was useful or... Smart, uh, I don't know, I guess we'll go with that. And Blue, Blue is in the Tool Age now. He's he's up, he's got a market built, he's building uh, a barracks. Just gonna check out the place. Hasn't built a dock yet, strangely enough. Hasn't built one yet. In fact, uh, Team, the <laughs> I should say, uh, Green, Green and uh, Orange are the only teams right now that have built docks. And no scout ships yet from either of them, of course. Oh, yellow is now uh, tool age, but yeah, no scout ship yet. They're just, just booming. Everybody's just booming away. Fucking green needs to get up to the tool age fast. I don't know what he's doing here. Seems like he lost. Uh, he's just hunting, 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 cutting wood down here. No dock yet though. Just kind of, yeah. Everybody's just utilizing their resources and just going about their day. This is this is the day life of Age of Empires, you know? You mine for a living, you fish for a living, you, you hunt elephants for a living, you cut wood, yeah, it's a simple life. But yeah, everybody's just apparently just gonna boom up. There's not gonna be any immediate action right now, which is, you know, I wish there were, but unfortunately, I don't know, I don't know how expert these players are, I don't know, honestly, to tell you guys, I just, uh, 
randomly jumped into a room and was like, I'll check this out, because uh, I actually spectated a game with Blizzard um, earlier today. I wasn't recording, unfortunately. I wish I had, because it was just a fantastic game. Unfortunately, Blizzard was on the losing side of that match, but uh, it's what prompted me to start actually recording uh, the games that I spectate. Hopefully, I, uh, I run across some jewels here, but... We'll see how it turns out. Right now, this game is probably going to be a very slow build up with a crashing crescendo of conflict later on once people get up to the next ages. And as far as I know, everybody is in the tool age now. Um, yeah, not much action. Blue has not built any docks yet. Green has not built any docks yet. And honestly, to win this match, you're going to have to take control of water. And here we go, yellow. Built a dock over here. He's going to utilize these fish, and it's going to be right where Green is. I mean, if he built uh, a scout ship, sent it over here, all these villagers would be harassed. They'd be driven off the stone, the gold, the fit, the shore fish. Oh, that would be terrible. The houses could be attacked. All these shore fishers down here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Will we see it? I don't know. It looks like he's just making more fishing ships, unfortunately. Uh building another dock over here. Good, good job for Yellow. He really needs to utilize this giant body of water here. Uh, same thing with Orange. And Orange really hasn't gone out of his little cove area yet. In fact, he is just building away, getting himself a stable, probably to scout his huge island. Uh, again, no docks yet from the other team. What is going on here? This is just... This is, this is, this is strange. I don't understand. I don't understand this. Looking at the score... I mean, green, I mean, sorry, not green, yellow and orange are just uh, taking the lead here by 100 points, almost 100 points. It's just, what is going on? But still no action yet, no, no ships, no enemy ships out, that's nothing, everybody's just booming away. Unfortunately, I can't look at the progress being made by any, uh... By any sieve, that's unfortunate, and I can't see if they're, like, uh, advancing up or if they're researching anything or they're creating units. Uh, let's see, Yellow's got a scout. I mean, sorry, not Yellow. Green, yeah, Yellow's got a scout. He's just, again, probably just gonna scout out the island. Gonna check it out. Uh, fucking Orange here does not want to be harassed at all, so he's just building a line of towers. And, you know, one might think that that is a proper defense mechanism, but honestly, if you had fast units like cavalry or chariots, they can just blow right through there, or get in the back, and just, just harass all this. It's honestly better to build towers deep, like defense in debt. Don't put all your eggs in the basket at the front here. Um, a defense and death strategy with towers is very useful. Just having protecting your your resource gathering areas. I mean, this would be okay if there was a wall, but there's no wall. He's just... I mean, he's just building a perimeter of towers. <laughs> kind of realized why he had all those stone miners. <laughs> Blue, oh, blue's up to the Bronze Age, I think, actually. Oh, so is green. So green, wow, green and blue actually kind of taking the initiative here. They are actually up to the Bronze Age first, meaning that they can start really booming. Um, this, this time wasted, oh, I, as I say that, orange is now, ca uh, bronze. I keep saying castle, because I, I, you know, I still got Age of Empires 2 on the mind, so sorry, guys. Um, he's building a temple and a government center. He's going to need that to make town centers. Uh, temple, obviously, just for the second building to get up to the Iron Age, I suppose. Uh, yellow, still tool, still tool, but he is, oh, he's got enemy ships out. He's going to, I mean, just bring the ships over here, man. Bring them right here in this area. Like, you can start harassing. Uh, but, of course, that would give away your position. But, I mean, they don't... He doesn't have a dock. Green doesn't have a dock. Blue still doesn't have a dock. How do they plan on winning this? They, they know they're on islands? I don't know. Do they know they're on islands? Who knows? All right, well. Anyway. Uh, oh, oh, here they come. Here come the ships. Here come the ships from yellow. He's harassing um, villagers from green. Of course, he's just attacking the storage pit. He killed two villagers, though. Not good. But again, the opportunity was wasted because you know, all those shore fishers are gone. I mean, he can attack these houses and bring them down, maybe hit these farmers, but other than that, you know, it, it's something, at least. 
Uh, let's see here. Uh, yellow, really utilizing the peninsula points here. Bil building docks, great idea. And this is actually at a an emerging of the two waterways from over here to here, so it's a really good idea you had docks there. Orange is still not really building anything else. Hasn't built a second town center yet. He is just still building that perimeter of towers. Does not want to have anybody come into his base. Yellow seems to be still more of the aggressor here. He's got War Galley now, but he's just attacking the storage pit. And Green, realizing that he is, his shoreline is under threat, and builds two towers here. It's going to protect this area. Maybe not so much here, but I mean, it's, it's for sure. I mean, he's going to have to get a lot of ships to take out these towers, but he should probably build some up here to protect his gold mine. I mean, he's making chariots, but again, guys, how's he going to get those chariots across? It's, it's islands. Um... So, okay, blue. Oh, blue's finally got docks open. All right. Good job. Good job for blue. Getting those fishing ships out. I think he kind of realized, oh, I'm on an island. I have to fucking do shit. So we're going to start seeing some warships from him. Uh, again, the naval bonus of the Phoenicians, uh, I believe, the only thing that they get... Well, I should say their woodcutters work better, so they, can, they chop wood faster and they can carry more wood, so... That's a plus, and I think their naval bonuses are uh, their catapult triremes and and juggernauts uh, fire. I think what what twenty five percent faster or something like that. Thirty five percent. No, no, we can go check it out. Let's see, let's go check it out. Let's give it a give it a shiggity check. Where's Phoenician? What is it? Oh, thirty percent faster. They fire thirty. Yeah, the the catapult triremes and the juggernauts are the same thing. This the juggernauts the upgraded. So this catapult trireme. There's the Juggernaut. They just fire stones as opposed to uh, arrows from the War Galley or giant bolts from the Triremes. But he's got some more ships out. He is taking control. He's got to go all the way around, though. But if he has set his thing on attack stance, he will be hitting these docks. And come to mention it, Orange actually has a dock down here now. So they're planning to take control and guard this body of water where the fish or sh fishing ships are going to be. Uh, meanwhile... <laughs> Green is doing a anti-ship attack here with his chariot archers. Um, oh, but he's finally got a dock up. He's going to challenge this. Okay, okay, guys. We got ourselves a game going, but, uh, yeah, I mean, he has this army. I guess it's good for defense, but, I mean, nobody's made a landing yet. Uh, no warships yet from Orange. He is just, just booming away. Uh, yellow and blue so far are the only ones with warships. Speaking of which, where was that warship from blue? I know I saw... Oh, it's, he's just kind of patrolling around. I think once he gets up here and he kind of realizes that this is the this is the merging point of all the bodies of water, this is this is going to be, I think, a lot of, where a lot of the action is going to take place. If he gets up here, he can help his ally, Green. But this is going to be a problem. See, uh... Yellow and orange kind of have played this strategically well to their advantage. I mean, they got docks very close to each other, so they can come to aid in relative quick succession of one another. Here, you know, green's got a dock here, but blue has to travel his boats from all the way around. He's got to go up this passage around here. So, I mean, it's going to be difficult. If anything, blue should land on his, his friend's island, start building docks here. But again, I'm I'm speaking like this from the... Uh, benefit of seeing the entire map. Uh, the players obviously can only see what they've explored so far. So, oh, we have a transport from Yellow. We're gonna keep an eye on that. We're not gonna. Uh, we're gonna come back to it in a minute. Uh, no warships though. He's got one warship. I think he's kind of given up harassing uh, Green Shoreline, but. We're going to keep an eye on that. Uh, oh, we got two transports. All right, so what, what, what is Yellow going to transport here? What has he got going? Does he have any army composition? Has he built any... Okay, so he has built military buildings, but... Besides an academy and a siege workshop... Okay, a bear. He's, he's built pretty much every building. Probably using it for research or whatever. <laughs> oh, and speaking of which, he is in the Iron Age, the final age. So we're going to start seeing some heavy ships coming out, probably... Some bigger, heavier units. Uh, orange is still bronze. Is he still... Okay, he's finished. I guess he's kind of... I guess he's like, yeah, that'll do. His perimeter of towers is okay, I guess. Uh, blue. Still bronze. He's got some chariots. 
That's about it. He hasn't really made any warships. Green. Green is actually in a very odd location. It's it's very narrow. He has to... His island's very oddly shaped. Very elongated. It's not exactly the best way, but he also has a transport. So he's probably just gonna get him in the transport, ferry him over really fast, and he can start doing some major har harassment because uh, Yellow doesn't have any military buildings. Um... Besides that one warship, uh, true warships now, but yeah, he, he can probably do some major damage here. I mean, he's got the transports there, but he hasn't built any military. I thought he was gonna, you know, ship some villagers over, over and land on the, on Green's Island, but I don't see that happening. Then again, Green is kind of slacking here. He's not really doing anything. Blue's got some more warships, but he's not sending them out. He's got this guy moving again, but he's going the opposite direction. He needs to... He's not going to stumble on anything. Oh, yeah, I speak. Yeah, I, I spoke too soon. He might stumble upon this dock and realize, oh, hey, I got to attack that. Is he is he going to see it? Is he going to see it? Oh, I think he's just going to miss it. Uh, he's going to wait. He's going to wait. Come on, find that. We'll come back to him. Just more. I'm surprised, though, that uh, Yellow did not upgrade his fishing boats to fishing ships like Orange did here, but... um. I don't know, he probably just forgot. Yeah, again, I don't know. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. We got some action. So he loaded up. We got at least 15 units of transports, but they've been spotted by the warships, but he doesn't have ballistics research, so he just has to keep moving, and he can dodge the arrows. I should say arrows, now they're bolts. Where is he going? I don't know if he saw that. I don't know if he saw that, or if that was just a reaction from the unit. Uh... He is going far. He could have just landed right across from there. I don't know why. He's going over here now. Yellow, very heavily invested in the docks. Oh, no, he's landing right here, right near his military. Kind of pretty close to where he's, his base is. Or, oh, no, he changed his mind. Oh, he's got to move. He's got to move. The ships are on the move. He has to get these transport ships out or else they're going to get sunk. He has to keep moving. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, oh me, oh my. He's got to keep moving. He, the jig is up. He knows that he's coming. Yellow knows about the attack. In fact, what? Oh, did land the ship. I don't blame. I don't. Okay, he's landed the ship. He's landed the units. He's got to get the other units. Okay, he's got the whole. He's got to upload this ship. He's got to hurry up. He's got to hurry up. Over the, okay, he, uh, he unloaded the army. But he's got to get him away from the boats. He's got to get him away from. He's doing that right now. And green is going to go harass Yellow in the base. This is good. We're going to keep an eye on that for a minute. Right now, uh, uh, Yellow, I know, I get the idea. You want to invest heavily in ships to defend yourself, but now it's too late. He's landed troops on the island, and, you know, he's going to need more than one composite bow bowman to defend himself. He, he's getting his villagers out of the way. He has to protect his villagers. If Green just kills all his villagers, you know, he can't make ships anymore. If he can't make ships, because he needs ships with wood, you need woodcutters to get wood. You know, that's it's fucking Econ 101 for you. Oh, he's going to find this. Here we go. All these villagers are probably going to die. Boom, 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 boom. Again, Sumerians don't have a bonus with... Um, again, their bonuses are... are they got to... Farms hold more food... And their catapults fire faster, but... Again, he's driving him away from all his resource gathering areas. He's got one down here. This is where the wood area is. If he takes this out, then there's going to be no more wood production. He's got these here. Um, meanwhile, you know, he's not making any ships. Blue, they're not making any ships. They gotta make ships. Yellow's the only one that seems to realize that I gotta make some warships to take control of the water, and then I'll land. But again, I think it's been negated by the fact that Green has entered his base. And he's trying to make archer. He's trying to make composite bowmen to combat these these chariot archers. He's trying to send in cavalry. He's, he's trying to get a little bit of defense going. Uh, this cavalry's gonna die. Hopefully, taking out this. Nope, not gonna take out that uh, chariot archer. But again, because he just landed units. Um, he can't replenish this army, so Green has to make good on, on his on his attack here. He has to stop fumbling around and attacking units and attack these villagers. Attack all these villagers. I mean, what else is he doing? He's just he's just booming. He's built another dock over here. I guess that should help him. But yeah, again. Uh Oh, get away from the buildings. Oh uh, no, I don't think I think this attack's kind of 
think this attack has fizzled out. He's only got about four or five chariot archers left, and they're not gonna they're not gonna break in. I mean, these composite bowmen are probably gonna make short work of them soon. Good defense though by yellow prevented a catastrophe from occurring. Um, meanwhile, has orange made any military buildings yet? None whatsoever, huh? Nothing. He's just, he's just booming. He's just booming away. No, no warships of any kind. Nothing. At least Blue's got some warships, but I don't, I don't understand why. Uh, I, oh, he might be loading up the transports, so that, that's a good thing. Where he lands, though, I don't know. But I mean, Yellow effectively has control of water of these ports. He just has to get these warships moving somewhere, somewhere for the love of Betsy. Get them going. Get your warships going. Uh, oh, what? I heard some, I heard some attacking. Oh, <laughs> oh it's, 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 it's Chase the Chariot Archer. There's only one Chariot Archer left here. He's going to try and find out where uh, Yellow's been collecting all the wood. I mean, that was a nice little damage, but, you know, Orange and, and Yellow are still in the lead. Green needs to do something more here. I mean, he technically has the highest score, but his teammate, Blue... It's just so far behind right now. He's not doing anything. He's got these transports. Is he going to use them? He's got these warships. Is he going to use them? Is he even going to get up to the Iron Age? In fact, Orange and Yellow are both in the Iron Age. Um, yeah, fuck it. Green and Blue need to get up to the Iron Age. I don't know what they're doing. He's loaded up another transport. He's going to send it over, but... I, where did the war If he lands right here, he should be good, but if he goes up here, he's going to run into these triremes. It's not going to be good. Again, guys, uh, can't stress enough the fact that you should take villagers over uh, in your transport. That way, when you make a landing, you can make buildings to produce units. That way, you don't have to do this ferrying bullshit all the time. I don't know if he's going to see this transport. He, I, he should have just landed over where he... He should have just landed right there. That would have been perfect. But unfortunately, he is going far around trying to avoid the ships. Oh boy. In fact, what the fuck happened here? It looks like a little skirmish with the naval vessels. Oh my god, it, they didn't even spot the ship. I can't believe it. That is, oh jeez. Greed. Quite the maverick green. He's, at, he's making more warships, but he, he needs to get in the Iron Age. Because war galleys are not going to do well against um, triremes. Uh, speaking of which, yet no mo no warships yet from Orange. In fact, Yellow hasn't utilized these transport ships yet. Then again, in his defense, he was probably busy repulsing Green's attack. But where is he going? Where is he going with this transport? <laughs> he is just... Is he going to land on Orange? Where is he going to land? Orange is just making a coastal defense here of towers just to make sure. In fact, that the tower sees him. It's and he's researched ballistics because that they they are hitting the ship. The ship the ship is already at half health here. I don't know if it's gonna make. He needs to land. He needs to land land this boat. Get it away from the shore. Orange is just being Mr. Defense here. That ship is gonna sink. It's a goner. See ya. All right. Lost cause. All right. Meanwhile, yellow back over here harassing with the triremes. Looks like we just missed an engagement with those war galleys. But again, yeah, I mean, yeah, trireme that's 200 with 12 attack and nine range going up against a war galley that's just 168 attack and uh, eight range. You're not going to do well. Uh, green building these towers here. Oh wait, they're the they're the war galleys, but they're going to get surrounded. Get him out of there! I mean, these these sentry towers are gonna go down. He's got enough triremes uh, mass just to take him out. Uh, get your villagers out of there. What is Blue doing? Blue! Blue has made a landing. He's actually made a landing. But there's no villagers! He didn't land any villagers! Guys! Land villagers! Orange is now gonna respond. Uh, maybe. Yeah, he is. He's making academies. He's gonna make, uh, hoplites, phalanxes, centurions, whatever the upgrade is. Uh, yellow <laughs> is driving green away from the shoreline. He's like, I'm taking this. Uh, oh, you gotta see those farms, man. I don't think he's, he's lacking the wood. Again, his island is so awkward. He should play it safe and start, you know, getting research gathering points far away from the action. Um, I don't know how long this, uh, 
this attack from Blue is gonna go again. He's got nothing to reinforce it. You know, he's got he's got a ship here, but guys, guys, send some villagers over. It's not that hard. Just send some villagers over. Yellow, meanwhile, <laughs> he's like yellow is like, I am not gonna take another landing. I am building towers everywhere. He is not gonna stand for this aggression. He's just gonna harass green along the shoreline. Uh, something's gotta give here. Checking out this assault from Blue. I mean, he, he's making progress. He's got a combination of broadswordsmen, chariots, chariot archers, and composite bowmen. A nice little mix. Uh, meanwhile, he's while he's doing that, he's letting uh, Orange build up his base here. He's got some hoplites, which will make short work of pretty much all the units. It's elite infantry. I mean, the, hopefully the archers can weaken weaken them up a bit. But I, I mean. I don't know, again, bring some villagers across the shore, guys. Sorry, I was getting a little dehydrated there. Alright. No no extra warships, no extra docks. In fact, yellow is the one that's like, got the, the, the dock power here. He's got docks everywhere, making ships. Here comes an engagement. I don't know if he's, uh, Green's going to win this. If he can focus down the triremes. He's got more war galleys, but again, the triremes are stronger. No, he's building more towers. Green <laughs> is building more towers. He does not want... Well, again, I, I guess he wants to protect this gold here. Um, uh, I guess Green's actually going to win this. But he needs to... He's got all these idle villagers. He's got it. He's got to get up to the next age. He's not going to be able to hold off this attack, which is more galleys. He needs to upgrade the triremes. In fact, I don't even know... What the, can the Sumerians get triremes? I don't know. Alright, Blue is going inland now. He's kind of taking out this forward base. And he's going to be met by these phalanxes. Hoplite, upgraded hoplites now. Alright, he's going to see the base. He's going to see these villagers coming in. Oh, we're going to take out the villagers. These phalanxes, however. But he's upgraded the, the broadswordsman, the longswordsman. Where is he going with these villagers? Is he just going over here to build again? <laughs> oh, he's got town center here that they forgot. Uh, in, in this engagement, I'm pretty sure Orange is going to beat them. Uh, meanwhile, over here, uh, yeah, we're, oh, 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 and finally Green is up to the Iron Age, so he can hopefully research, uh, Trireme and help take back control of the water, because right now, I mean, Yellow's also Minoan, so he has the advantage of having cheaper warships, but again, guys... Uh, ships cost wood, and wood is a, a finite resource on this island. Eventually, you're going to run out of wood. So you got to be careful. You can't let these matches draw draw out. And just when Orange leaves his base area, Blue attacks. Going to kill these villagers. Going to be a nice kill, but again, I think... I think Orange is going to clean them up here with this composition of uh, phalanxes. It's, it's just not going to work. Make short work. Meanwhile, he's also got uh, ballistas over here. And there goes the assault from Blue. It's dead. It's KIA. Killed in action. No more. Is he going to send more now? Oh, he's got elephant archers. But again, just, just send some villagers over. It's not that hard. This is the most ridiculous match ever. He's got triremes, so I guess Sumer Sumerians can get triremes. <gasps> oh! Is this not a conquest victory? Oh, damn, green. Where is he building the wonder? Where is he building the wonder? Okay, where is he building the wonder? Uh, he's building a wonder somewhere. I wonder if it's safely. Oh my god, I didn't even fucking realize, but yellow made a landing. Yellow made a landing just as green was starting to make a wonder. I think it got destroyed though? Where, where, where's the wonder? Or was it... Or was it Yellow making the wonder? Who the hell is making the wonder? Sorry guys, I'm losing it. No one's making the wonder? Is it orange? Well anyway, Yellow's taking the initiative here, building towers for defense. Got This is how you do it guys, you land, you make military buildings, now Green has to f divide his resources, he now has to make land units and sea units. Meanwhile, um... Yellow's kind of seeded the water. He's just built towers to kind of draw, draw green into this uh, battling towers while his ships waste away. 
Meanwhile, he's got to. I don't. He knows that yellow has landed. Yellow's coming in with cavalry. He's coming in with phalanxes. He's coming in with composite bowmen. He's got a nice composition here. G green. What does he have? Some chariot archers. That's all he's got. It's chariot archers. Blue. Meanwhile, not helping. He is just waiting at the shoreline. Oh, he's bringing back the ships. He unloaded a composite bowman to hold the. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> we'll come back for you. <laughs> it's just. But this is where the action is coming at, guys. Yellow is now uh, paying in kind for the raid that Green did to his base, but hopefully uh, Green can come back here and protect the, his, his, his villagers with these ships. Uh, he's got... He might be able to hold this off. He, oh, there's the Wonder. He's not... He's, he needs... He, oh, the, the Wonder is under threat. He built that in an okay spot, I guess. It's, it's far away from the shoreline, so it can't be harassed by boats, but I think uh, I think Green might be able to hold this off just because he's able to hit the hit hit Yellow with ships, and he's got towers. But wait a second, those are Yellow's towers. Yellow is towering ahead. He needs to press home the advantage. He needs to uh, take out this wonder. Uh, meanwhile, he's got Green also has four charges in the mix. Um, He's got a stone thrower to take out. Well, I guess he did have a stone thrower to take out the sentry towers, but there's no more army. The army's gone. Oh no! And these tower and these ships can only shoot so far. What has he got left? He's got nothing. He's invested too heavily in the water. But he, he has to realize. Green has to realize that the threat is here. It's on the land. Forget the water right now. You gotta protect the wonder. And blue. What are you doing, blue? Oh, he's loading up troops for the next assault. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my God. I don't know if he's going to hold this off, guys. I mean, forest archers are pretty deadly, but, you know. Oh, and the wonder was destroyed. That is a crime and shame. A thousand wood, a thousand gold, a thousand stone, all gone. What a waste. Oh. That is unfortunate. Okay. Trying to hold back this assault and it's not helping. These these phalanxes are just too, they're too beastly. He's gotta he's gotta mass more horse archers and he can't do that right now. Um, I mean he's building towers for defense. And he's he's trying to throw everything he's got, but again, oh, oh man. I mean he's taking the initiative with the water, but it's too late, man. The fucking yellow landed. You gotta get him off your base. I don't know what he's put. Oh man! Speaking of which, Orange just landed a bunch of blit. Orange has also landed. Oh, what's going on over here? He's got so basically Green's getting two v one. Blue, meanwhile, uh, Blue is not helping. He's got this army. Can't do shit with it though. If he's just gonna sit on it, fucking. Oh, this is this is gonna go from bad to worse for Green very fast. I mean, these ballistas alone are just gonna destroy buildings, destroy units, and he, he's, you know, speaking of siege units, Yellow is starting to build his own siege workshops to help in the fray. It's a nice composition that they got going here. Uh, Green trying to bring in some elephants, he just doesn't have the military production buildings right now. He's got two archery ranges, a barracks, I know he has a stable because he was making elephants, where's the stable? Oh, there's a stable. He's got one stable. He has all these idle villagers. They're not doing shit. But then again, I just fucking realized Green has no wood. He got driven off his wood. There's no wood. There's wood here, but this is effectively an enemy control. Oh, no. Oh, what is going on here? We have a massive assault here being escorted by three triremes. What is going to happen? Blue should uh, do the right thing and help his friend. Is he just gonna let him die? Is he just gonna go right back to, uh... Go right back to attacking Orange? I mean, I guess that would be useful, but he has an army here to defend himself. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is the best decision, guys, because Green is in trouble. He is in so much trouble. He has no wood. And meanwhile, you know, he's losing now control of the water. That's it. He, 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 can't, he can't do anything. He's got no ships, and he's got ships here for defense. He's kind of pushing back, slowly but surely, but he's not going to be able to hold off once 
Orange joins the fr Look at all these phalanxes! Oh no, it, but they're going the wrong way. <laughs> they're going the wrong way. Blue's made a landing. He's gonna harass Orange. Uh, for the love of God, are there any villagers in the transport ship, please? You gotta... Okay, probably not. He's just gonna send these guys over like this. That's gonna be great. <laughs> Alright, well, it's a larger force than last time, I'll give him that. We'll come back, we'll come back to that again. Oh, here comes another push. Looks like green's gonna, all that progress being made is gonna be undone. If he can just fucking fight off these guys, he's gotta protect the horse archers. But the elephants are a nice meat shield, but again, here come the ballistas from orange. Here come no phalanxes yet. The phalanxes are still oh, but here they come. This is it, guys. Green is this. This is probably the hammer blow for green. Green is going to go down hard. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, oh, oh! But if he takes out this elephant, can kill as many. Oh, it's dead. Shit. All right, never mind. This is not good. But oh, if this elephant charges fast enough, he can take out the the the. Take out the ballistas! Hurry! 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 Oh, it's gonna die. It's gonna die. But wow, what a waste of ballistas! Wow! That was... Oh, man, that's terrible. But here come the phalanxes. Here they come. Let's see how Blue's doing with his assault. He, he's taking on Inros. He's not really making much progress, though. And again, it's probably gonna be met by this army of phalanxes. Oh, where'd they go? Oh, he doesn't really have an army of phalanxes anymore. Okay, well anyway, I think they all got shipped over here. Here it comes. Here comes the horde. Oh, this is not gonna be this is not gonna be pretty. This is gonna be a massacre. This is gonna be bad. He's going for the houses. He's gonna take out he's gonna take out the houses. He's got he's got these guard towers, but I don't know how effectively they're gonna be for defense. I mean if they There's just so many streaming across the the, the and he's got so many more in reserve. Uh oh. Nick, hang on, we got a communication error with the legend. Which I believe is 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 green here. I don't know if he just dropped and realized the jig is up. Probably just rage quit. I don't blame him, man. He he got 2v1. Blue Blue is not the best uh teammate right now. Uh I mean he he's making this isn't really gonna do much. <laughs> This, this, this is bad. This is bad. Uh, I mean, these, these elephants are, are oh, they're just getting, they're getting wasted. The towers are being destroyed. Uh, green is, green's finished. This is it. This is, there's no coming back from this one. Green needs to either get a transport ship made and get uh, some villagers in the can to Blue's base ASAP. But then again, I don't know if he, uh... I, I'm pretty certain that um, orange and yellow have this game set and match because blue is just not doing anything. Nothing. Nothing. He's not even engaging. This army is just wasted, and he doesn't. He doesn't even have. Ugh. And that's it. Green resigned. Green is out. All right. Now. This does not bode well for Team Blizzard. Now Blizzard by himself. His tiny... This is very... This is tiny... But he still has one town center. He has not effectively boomed at all. This is a shame. I mean, he, he made this landing, but unfortunately, it is not going to do anything. And now he's going to get ganged up on by uh, orange and yellow. Uh, the only thing is right now that he has is time because you know orange and yellow have to transport their army now from island to island in fact I don't even know if they know where blue is right now they just know where green is and that's what they're doing of course knowing blue oh here's a little engagement and they're gonna clean this up really fast of course again Greek phalanxes fa <laughs> why did I say that weird phalanxes uh, are, what, 30, 35% faster? They're faster, so they can just, like, steamroll anybody with their speed. In fact, I don't know where they're going, though. They're totally missing out on the, just going, just totally bypassing the army. 
Oh, okay, now we're going to go for an engagement. We'll see how they, how well they clean them up. Just, just knocking these guys down. And there goes these elephant archers. Yeah. Uh, oh, meanwhile, the Blues made an advanced headway here. Take out those military production buildings. Don't go for the town center. Go for the military production buildings. You actually might be able to damage orange, make it even match. Then again, I'm too probably too much of a wishful thinker here. Uh, looks like Orange is getting ready to transport. Seeing like the jig is up. He had a, oh here they come. They're gonna ship him out of here. I think Orange is basically just like whatever. Attack my base. I have my perimeter of towers. <laughs> oh man, the perimeter of towers might come in handy. I it, it might. It, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, he kind of has just given up on making units and just letting Blue do his thing. Uh, Yellow, meanwhile, has taken over Green's Island. Um, I think I think he's kind of like, eh, whatever. I don't know what he's planning on doing. Again, they're not sending ships over this way like they should. Um, here come the transports. Gonna pick up the boys. Let's let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 units can be held here. Each ship can hold 10 units. And to be honest, I think that's all he needs because I think 50 units can clean up this this whole base. There's no army. Oh, there's an army here. Eh, actually, but Blue's got quite the army. This it's lots of stone throwers. Are the ships coming back to pick them up? Because uh, this army got wiped out again. <laughs> again, Blue has the right idea for an, a, an assault. He has to bring villagers with him. I don't know if these ships are going to see. Oh, they have. Is he going to engage? Nope. Yellow is just going to come down this way. Kind of look for Blue's area. He's going to halt right there. Hasn't found anything yet. There go the transports from Orange. Hopefully he's going to know where to land. Alright, this is going to be an engagement right here. Guys, guys, you got to research ballistics. That can't be stressed enough. you got to research ballistics. Um, yeah, eventually they're going to they're gonna come down here. They're going to find uh, Blue's army. He's got some catapult triremes, but that's not going to... He's going to need more than that. In fact, here he comes. Yellow's going to sneak on down here. He's going to find another island and assume that that's where Blue is. And that's be like, all right, Orange, I found him. Where are those transport ships? Ooh, he's actually got more here. He's got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 units here. 70 units. Hopefully you pick up. Oh, oh, Blue sees the transport ships, though. But I don't think it's going to stop him. Because, again, not ballistics. No ballistics researched. I think this has been good teamwork by uh, Orange and Yellow. They've, they're working very well together. And uh, I believe Yellow has spotted out an area like land here. I think that's where they're going to land. It's a lot of ships. <laughs> I think they just want to clean the, clear this up. They're so done. They're like, they want to end this game. But Blue should realize that the writing is on the wall. He is not going to be able to 2v1 forever. In fact, here we go. Here come the lands. He's got a villager. See, this is how you do it, guys. You bring a villager with you. He can build you military buildings. He's gonna start by building a guard tower. Look at all these units. There's not it. There's not enough room to land all these units. He's gonna scout around, but eventually he's gonna stumble upon this gold mine here, or yellow might get it first. Oh, yep, yellow's found them first. Here it comes, guys. This is bad. Blue's gonna come over, look at this, and be like, "Oh, fuck." Is he going to get his army going? He's got to get his army going. Get this army in gear. Get it mobilized. Here comes the enemy. And he's unloaded more. He's building military over here. Oh, that's actually yellow. Yellow is... Oh, these are yellow. Oh, wait. Are these yellow ships? Are some of these yellow ships? One of these yellow ships? Was yellow just hitching? Oh, these are yellow ships. Okay. All right. <laughs> Blue trying to respond with the warships, but they're not going to be there in time. In fact... Here it is. Here it is. Orange Orange has made it to Blue's base. This is this is it, folks. We're going to see if these uh, phalanxes are going to go 
Let's see. Um, so he's got 120, 22 attack, 7 armor going up against Centurion now. 34 attack, 14 armor, and 3 pierce armor. So, yeah, uh, Orange has the advantage. In fact, he's going right for the cat, the stone throwers. Gonna knock those out of commission really fast. Uh, Blue is is gonna get cleaned up here. I mean, he's gonna go. For, I don't know what he's doing here. I don't. I don't know what he's doing. He totally bypassed it. But um, yeah, this is this is not good. The, he. <laughs> what, what is going on? It's like both armies are like totally like walking past each other. Like, how you doing? How you doing? Guys, set yourself, set your thing on attack. Like, don't fucking worry about it. Just, you'll find the base eventually. Meanwhile, yellow and orange. They got a town center. They got military. They're taking control of this area. They're going to start making military buildings. They're going to be able to press the attack. Again, centurions against phalanxes are not... It's, it's, it's bad, folks. This is bad. This is really bad. Taking out houses... Blue is just, I mean, these, these stone throwers are pretty good anti-infantry weapons, but you gotta protect them, and I don't think he has enough troops to protect them, and again, he can also hurt his own troops, because these stones do splash damage, they don't care who they hit. And apparently all the runes have been captured, so, uh, that's a victory for, uh, Orange. So he's gotta get this, what, what ruin? What ruin did he take? Oh, he took this ruin, probably. So he's got to get that one back, otherwise he's going to lose the, lose the game by ruins. And blue. Blue, blue, it's over. It's over. Give it up, man. I mean, this game was over like ten minutes ago. I, 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 I can't stress that enough. It's, it's done, guys. This this is not going to work well. You don't, you just, you can't fucking do this. Uh, okay, here comes Centurions from yellow. So we got Centurions on both sides here. Gonna make short work of this army. It's just not gonna be enough. And again, he's just getting demolished. He does not have the capacity to hold off against these attacks. I mean, Blue is just gonna get withered away. Let's just let's just be honest, folks. Blue Blue is Blue is out for the count. His ally's dead. He has no control of the water. I mean, technically he does, but. If yellow and orange really wanted to, they can bring up lots of ships. I mean, he's got all this army here. He's got transport still. Jesus Christ. Anyway, just waiting for the final hammer to fall. Just amassing troops. Holopolises. Good anti-infantry weapons here. Very good at taking out the slow-moving uh, elite infantry. Uh, yeah, again, guys, it's just... You know, if blue if blue had the common sense, he would he would basically say, "All right, I'm I'm done, <laughs> I'm out for the count." But uh, I mean, he's not really building any army, and in in my opinion, uh, yellow should just should just, oh, well, what's going on here? <laughs> blue trying to get some ships out, but it looks like they're going to be stopped by uh, yellow's navy. They see what's going on. Are they going to chase him? Uh, yellow. Meanwhile, just, just, just go, just go. You have enough. You can take this out, like no problem. I think orange just. Oh yeah, this is what happened. Orange is just bringing over the rest of the troops with these transports. Unfortunately, um, I mean, blue does have a, a a bit of a navy to protect his waterline, but other than that, I mean, if yellow and orange bring these ships over. It's it's done for. In fact, they're probably going to engage right here. Here it comes. Here comes a little naval engagement. We're going to see if blue can hold the water. Again, faster uh, firing catapult triremes with blue, but of course he's not engaging. He's just running and he's just wasting his ships. It's it's the Marianas turkey shoot, guys. Oh, and he's got all these ships over here. Yeah, he's lost water. He he is done. It is over. It's over. This army's gonna fall. I just want it to fall, guys. I want this game to be over. Like, it's done. It's done. This was not... This was not a very good utilized game. And where did these guys come from? Have they just been, like, running... Oh, they landed! They landed from over here. He ferried them over with one boat. So... It looks like Blue's gonna get butt-fucked in the ass right here from behind. 
has no idea this is he's he's gonna get hit with a two-pronged attack. He's gonna have to divide his forces. Are they synchronizing the attack? I really hope they are. That'd be really funny. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna be hit from centurions from behind and above in front of him. And of course, Blue is amassing units over here. He's like, all right, we're gonna fucking take back the shoreline, leaving his base open, his military production buildings open. Oh, he couldn't have maneuvered at a worse time. Oh, this is gonna be bad. They just need to attack. They just need to attack. I just, I want an engagement. Is it so much to ask for a fucking engagement? Just fucking engage. Engage for the love of God! Just do something for Christ's sake. I mean, God, Orange, Yellow, you've been doing so well. Just end the fucking game. End the game. It's over. Blue is done. All right, here, here comes Nick. He's gonna, Blue is gonna walk into this trap and realize he fucked up. He fucked up big time. That's a lot of ballistas. I mean, Holopolis is firing. Gonna wipe out this army. This army's dead. It's so fucking dead. It's done. The, uh, no more army. No more blue army. Blue army is done. Oh, it was like amb. It was bushwhacked. It was fucking bushwhacked. Look at this. Just decimated completely gone. He's got this here, but meanwhile, Orange has not attacked yet! <laughs> Come on! Do something! for Okay, here we go. Here comes the engagement. Orange is like, alright, it seems like Blue just wasted his army away, so now I'm gonna hit him from behind. Oh, no. This is why you don't fight a two-front war, people. This is why you don't fight a two-front war. This is it. He's moving into the base. That's the thing with Greek with Greek, uh, Centurions, they, they're just so fast. And Blue's gonna try and meet, and he's done. Blue realizes it's over. He's he's uh, he you know he's being attacked on the shore here with the ships. It was over. There was no way he was gonna do that again. Wow, nice game. Uh, Green had he not had a landing on his island, I I I think he could have been able to fight this off. But again. He eventually got 2v1, and again, it's it's teamwork that matters here. Yellow and Orange did very well uh, with their teamwork and sort of um, deciding wh who to attack, where to attack. Uh, really, Green and Blue were kind of operating on their own separate devices here. <laughs> they were just, uh, yeah, GG. Uh, they were yet yeah, green was busy attacking yellow and blue was busy attacking orange they didn't really coordinate themselves appropriately but again good game guys uh next time the game couch we'll see you in the next online match see you then